Hi, I'm Andy Burris here at BPI Europe. I'm here with Thomas Kral, who's Vice President of Global Pathogen Safety at Takeda. Thank you for joining us. Um, so here at the conference, there's a whole stream um, on viral safety. Um, I mean, why? Why is that? As some people would say that's a concern of the past. And Andy, you're quite right that uh, in some ways, the unfortunate reality, because the real problems that we have had with viral safety of biomedic uh, biomedical interventions, if you will, date back to the 80s. At that time, yes, there were virus transmissions because at that time, people didn't even know that there were viruses out there. Right. The good thing is that uh, later with the advent of recombinant medicinal products, some of these issues have been eliminated. Yet still, we have seen uh, that some of the biofermenters were infected by viruses. Now this time, fortunately, the viruses did not reach the recipients. So patients were safe from that perspective. But supply was wiped out for long periods of time. And lack of treatment is a concern for patients as well. Mm. So ever since the community has learned a lot, we have implemented what is called the safety tripod. That's a combination of first selecting the right material to start with. And that's why a lot of discussion about raw materials you'll see about this at, right. the, at this event here. The second thing is the testing. We're right now leaping into deep sequencing, next generation sequencing, very exciting. Uh, it's going to allow us to uh, detect better what we are up against in a more agnostic way. We don't need to know about the specific viruses. And then finally, most importantly, virus inactivation, virus removal in the downstream. So now we do know how we can keep patients safe. And that's why people are losing the focus. The good thing is here we have all the attention on it mm. because now as we're going into the advanced therapy medicinal products, the cell-based therapies, the gene therapies, we must not forget these learnings of the past. We need to make use of what we have learned and keep patients safe with these new therapies. And how are you involved in viral safety? Well, I have been involved in viral safety for actually the last two decades. Ever since I joined uh, the Vienna part of what is now the Takeda organization, uh, I have uh, spent my time um, paid by the companies, but in reality working for the patients who depend on us to keep them safe. Right. So we have set to the ground here in Vienna a industry-leading state-of-the-art lab, a biocontainment lab, that allows us to work with all the viruses you can possibly think of, with the one exception of Ebola virus. That combined with our process expertise, where we can replicate all of our manufacturing processes that we run anywhere in the global network of Takeda. With that, we can actually evaluate the processes for their capacity to inactivate or remove viruses. And that's what we do. And that's why we've um, actually established a very good accord with patient organizations, frankly, that's the most important for me, and regulatory bodies alike. And um, what trends in the area? Where do you see it going? Well, actually, right now, we see the area in a rather transformative moment. I mentioned earlier the virus inactivation and virus removal processes we have mm -hmm. uh, developed for the downstream. But for some of the cell therapies and gene therapy um, medicinal products, that will actually not be possible because they are living cells, they are infectious viruses, and we need to keep them that so that they are effective. Yeah, yeah. So that is why now the virus reduction moves into the upstream to become a viral barrier. And that's a very new concept. And as I've mentioned earlier too, the testing ability is going towards next generation sequencing where we can be totally agnostic about what we want to see and still are able to, in a very sensitive fashion, see what is out there. Hmm. Those are really transformative moments. That's exciting stuff. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Yeah, it is. Thanks, Andy.